Okay, in order to change the jaws and the chuck, why would you want to change them? Sometimes on the back of the gearbox, the hole isn't big enough such as in mine, so I had to use the OD jaws. Now, if the I, I can't clamp on the, the OD of the, of the gearbox, I may want have to chuck on the ID of the hole. So in that case, I have to change the jaws. These chucks come with two sets of jaws. Okay, the ID jaws, they're curved in this direction. They're kind of pointed here. They're tapered on each side. The OD jaws, they're curved in the opposite direction. And the short end is pointed. On the ID jaws, the long end is pointed. That's what goes to the middle. The OD jaws, the short end is tapered and pointed. That's what goes to the middle. And they're, they're concave this way. These jaws are numbered one, two, and three. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna back these out until all of these jaws will come out of the chuck. Okay, so now I have taken out the OD jaws. Now I'm gonna take the ID jaws. And when I put these in, this is tapered in the front. So it kinda of is a, like a V. That's the part that I wanna start in. And again, these jaws are numbered. So I'm gonna find number one jaw, and I'm gonna find the number one slot, and I wanna start this into that slot. Now I don't wanna push it in, only I, I just wanna get it started. Then I move to the number two slot, and I'll find the number two jaw. I'm gonna put that in again, just get it started. And the same thing with number three. Okay, it's just started. Now I wanna take the number one jaw, and I'm gonna push that in until it stops. And I'm gonna start turning this until I feel that jaw going in. So I know it's grabbed now. This one, number two jaw is still loose. If it's tight, if it, you can't pull it out of there, you've turned it too far, you're gonna have to back it off until it won't move, or until you can slide it back out. And now push that one in and tighten the, until that jaw is tight and this one's loose. Now we're gonna push number three in I'm gonna turn that until number three jaw starts going in. And the way you check these, I wanna turn these all the way in and make sure they all come together at once. I don't wanna have one backed away that will tell me I'm one tooth off. So when I tighten this up, you see these are all coming in and they'll come right together, there's no gap. So I know the jaws are in there pr properly. Now when I put this in the ID, I have three steps here that I can use, this step, this step, and the back step. And I just back these out until these expand against the ID of the, of the gearbox. That's how you change the jaws in a three-jaw chuck.